I am Rob from Hobbs Inc. Thanks for joining me for another video of beer review. This time we've got a can of beer from Evil Twin in Stamford, Connecticut. This is a can of their even more cocoa Jesus. An Imperial Stout with maple syrup and coconut. Sounds good, doesn't it? 12% ABV. Ho ho! It's a lot of beer for 12%. <laughs> Wish me luck. Even more Jesus. I think it's a great beer. I mean, it's, I think it's been up and down over the years. I think back in the day it was incredible when it was still being brewed over at Fano Bruinghaus in Denmark. I think that it went to um, Saren did some brewing of it and then it's been brewed here ever since. So beer in the glass. Absolute pin. Bright. Black as night. Like a shiny piece. Look at that. Look at that. That's incredible. Perfect Imperials now. Lovely mid. Kind of darkish tan head. So let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Check out the aroma. Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh. Yeah, you're definitely getting, uh, getting the kind of like a sweet, slightly peatiness. You're getting definitely loads of, no, scratch that, scratch the penis. It's maybe a woody quality. You are getting maple syrup, but it's not mega sweet. It's not like, um, not like this bad boy. Take that one. <laughs> From Yippee to, um, to Mekel. Yeah, that one absolutely reeked to maple syrup. So there is, it's in there, it's subtle though. It's a bit more toffee for me, kind of confectionery toffee. If you have in the UK, toffee crisp, think of that. It's got milk chocolate going on. Yeah, yeah, I think we've got some kind of sweetened, sweet coconut thing going on in the air as well. And coconut in the sense that you get in like a Thai curry. It's kind of slightly fragrant. Yeah, milk chocolate. For me, it smells exactly like a Rice Krispie bar with chocolate and um, toffee and marshmallows on it. But yeah, I think it smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, one thing that, uh, and this is always something that just tips it over for me. What this lacks a little bit is... Mouthfeel is, it's, me, it's top end of medium, bottom end of full. It's not very full bodied at all. And oddly that's something I've found with these cans from Evil Twin. Lacks body but the flavour's beautiful. Loads of dark chocolate. It's kind of like um, coffee and kind of wafer biscuits. Mmm. Yeah, maybe a little bit of coconut. Not getting much maple syrup. Getting very little booze, which is nice. But I think the two things that it lacks is body and sweetness. It's quite balanced. There's a bit of bitterness in uh, from dark chocolate there. It ends slightly dry with a kind of a cocoa powder thing going on. It's nice, but. I mean, I think Evil Twin, I think even more Jesus has been better in the past. First bottle, big bottle I bought, I mean, it's probably when it was brewed at Westbrook, actually, and that was absolutely stunning. It was kind of like big, kind of motor oil kind of like thing. Loads of kind of big molasses sweetness and stuff like that. This lacks sweetness, even though it's got maple syrup and coconut, it lacks sweetness. Um, what it should be just fucking slapping around the fucking edge, shouldn't it? It should be just big up front sweetness. But it's balanced and slightly subdued, but very nice. So, that's even more Coco Jesus from Evil Twin. Good, but should be better. I'm Rob from Hopsin. See you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.